Hello and welcome to a uh, new Let's Play and this is Let's Play Season Motion 2 but it's not the map editor, it's the campaign because I thought, what the yek This is well, Season Motion 2 and I did start on Season Motion 1 with the London, ex London um, campaign but I never finished it which I'm gonna do this one because I want to try thing. I want to try do some multiple multiple games of campaigns and stuff like that, and try like put them into like a few weeks or two in sometimes. So basically, I've recall I'm I'm doing Call of Duty 2, SimCity. If you haven't seen that yet, I don't know if that's gonna be out before this or after this or whichever. So SimCity something new then if it's been if it's uploaded after this and this is season motion 2 so basically we're gonna be s I'm gonna put an arcade just because I don't want to go in bankrupt too quickly and I haven't really done the campaign yet so anyway let's get let's get started let it load And have you know you, you have noticed that I've got the the music on, so I thought oh, you could you include the tunes. Well, the the music should say sorry. Anyway, okay then. Oh, okay. It crashed for a few minutes then, it went not responding, but I think it's okay. Anyway, here we go. This is Central City, if I didn't r tell you already. Don't know how bad this is gonna be, but... Now you can see my shobby graphic settings. See how that is. That's better. It's just that uh, my computer's not exactly built for this kit. Well, sort of but anyway, let's get cracking. Mayor Stephanie. Good day to you. I'm Stephanie York, the mayor of this city. We are so glad to, to have you here. The citizens have been asking for a public transport for a long time. For me, the most important thing is to keep the citizens happy and make the city grow. You can get you can get to work immediately. I apologise if you are seeing any of the steam overlay things, but establish a coverage of 15%, which is good. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna work through this like like someone would do in a tutorial anyway. So. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the data panel, look at buildings. At any. So greens, homes, so see residential. Yellow are homes. But if, this is a perfect area to start because homes is everything that need there, but then there's work here. So, that works. So let's, we'll start from, we'll make like a loop like there and then we'll have another loop in here like two loops maybe one one there one there all connecting to this this like one main loop that goes into into the um the industrial area and i think putting the depot here would be a good solution but since we've got a fair bit of them since we since we're not exactly the most richest people at the moment we'll um We'll use the cheap stops, unfortunately. I'll have the bus going anti-clockwise. So, let's have that there. It'll be nice there. Alright, fair enough. That's alright. I have one there. And then we'll have one here. One to there. 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 And we'll have one. Oops. One there. And then we'll have one here. 
And then, can I sneak a sneaky one there? Yep. Because if you try and, if you, if you try and make it so the stop at the finish had the same stop, then you get them stopped there and then you need more, you need bigger intervals with your buses because then that starts clogging up that station, that stop. So that's why you have like an off one and an on one. It's, it's kind of a cheaty way of doing it, but it works and it, I'll show you what I mean. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is actually it's going to pay for some buses. I'm feeling the Sternberger Major. So let's get five of them. So there we go. Then line one. Let's connect all these up. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying not to look like into the distance because you see what happens, the frame rate gets a bit choppy. Yeah, because we're getting about 37, 27, 30 frames, yeah, jump. But anyway, there we go. We're on the go. There's our first line completed. We'll speed up and see how it goes, see if it's okay and it's not gonna kill my computer. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, we're getting some passengers now, so that's working. That coverage thing will end up, will eventually come up because it will do. We <laughs> just will, <laughs> will, because of theoretically you are. What I'm going to do is, now I'm going to create the second line. First I'm going to make the ending stop here. So like they'll come in there and... These are going to go anti-clockwise as well. Since I've made the first one go anti-clockwise anyway. Have that there. Then have that one there. There. Then have that one there. Then the first stop's back there, so then that's it's sort of easy enough, but it's simple. Let's put it that way. Let's get that out of the way because and let's get on this side. So I've got there, then to there, then to there, and then there. And there, Bob's your uncle. I know if you want to go by um, by the true name, Fanny Gerant. Anyway, I'm going to buy another five, and that should do for another one. Hello. Spare a thought for a little, for the little ones. I'm Sandy Newport from Save All Living Things. We're greatly troubled by the number of ignorant unfeeling feet trampling the ground. Do you know how many innocent insects get crushed every single second? Could you help us in our campaign to help humans keep their clumsy feet off the ground? Transport a thousand passengers, a thousand people, or passengers theoretically, and you get 750, 750 quid. That'll do me. But anyway, let's take that line off, because that's on the go. Huh. Right in compass, you say. There's no one way straight, so hopefully not. There isn't, that they're being kind. So, we'll have that there. And this actually got a bus lane, so if, um, no vehicle, no um, unauthorised vehicles will use it. It's sort of like a priori, priority road for the, for the bus drive, for a bus, bus. Buses, she said. Sorry, mincing my words there. So that's, and we'll have them same stopping points again, and then we'll get, we'll get this built. So we'll go this way, follow. Don't worry, the line one will become more popular as we as we um, as we. 
do this. And the only reason why I'm using buses instead of like buses or trolley buses or um, a metro or water buses. That's all of them, basically. Because I am. Um, they're very cheap. Simple as that. You're only going to the expensive transports when you know there's going to be there people there. And they get rid of like big slog. We get the rid of the old multiple lines for a bus route, say, for, for, to use a metro across the old city. That's. You want to make sure they're all connected and try to keep them at one station. I know that's like carrying like a bus station and that clogs them stops very m that clogs them stops with a load of passengers. But there is there is kind of like a distribution center. That's help how it help it works. So sim it's just it works like that. Oop, looks like we've got some overcrowding, so what I'm gonna do is go to his employees, allow them for overcrowding. But then they don't like. So we're gonna up the wages a tad to um twelve. Keep it 13 for now and lower that down so they end up about there, yep. Yeah. I always like to keep the happiness of us over 90% um, because then you know we're going to have an efficient service. Surface. Service. And these inspectors are always greedy. There's nothing new. Ooh, got another one. Get that off. Listen, I'm in terrible hurry right now and the tr this traffic is killing me. Could you make sure that there's an easy easy way for me to get to my work from my home? So let's see where your, det your detached house is. Okay then. We'll do that eventually. Right now. Because it's there and it's there. And we haven't exactly got we're not exactly near it, and I want to try stay in this area for now, whilst we are making some money, at least. Well, I presume we are. I'm not saying we aren't. Well, not at the moment, but tickets, they're, they're expensive, apparently. Which is a bit annoying. And that's bloody cheap for £1.90. Whew. I wish our buses were like that. I've got a feeling of doing a line up that because try use the big wide roads. I know because they'll they'll attract more traffic as such, but they kind of like they kind of improvise growth more, so more people will you tend to walk down them roads than the small ones, and it just they seem to please. Okay, we've got a bit of an issue here. This road is a bit busy. Should have really thought about that, but it's not an ex it's not like a bad issue, in some way. But anyway, wait, this needs more vehicles apparently. There you go. Yeah, they'd be fine. They'll get him. Okay then. Um, I'm actually going to sell a few because the cat fit in. <laughs> There we go, that should be okay. Well, there's 32 people there. Well, some are waiting for line 2 and 3. 2 is going towards the right, and 3 is this way, yeah, as you can see now. Let's get line 4 in. We'll upgrade that road soon. What I'll do is I'll prioritise and put some bus lanes on it. But it'll mean reconstruction of the lines in a some way. But this game is kind of kind of unique where it kind of when it realizes then bus stops are there as replacements, so they like it re reorganizes the lines for it. So let's. So 
So there we go and see how well that goes. 17%. Perfect. That's okay. Okay. I want to think about what we can do. How far is this? That goes a fair distance, I must admit. But we can't afford it, really. Well, we can, but there's there's nothing that will... How, shall, how can I put this? There's nothing that will facilitate that. But I'm going to try anyway, because... Well, heck. I can. That's one thing I hear, I kind of I find annoying about. I'm sorry about my chair if you can hear that. Ugh, bloody hell. Anyway, they don't put the tram lines down on the. Um, but. I thought going that way, and then we'll connect this up. There, you take you take more you, you have a more advantage if you use them on like I said if you use them on on avenues which is, I just just call it a chill carriageway <laughs> it's as simple as that <laughs> but anyway I was thinking of taking it all the way to there where we can have like a little loop around and we're gonna be getting some coverage with this and we could use this as like as our feeder line as our, our main articular line. I, I always use the tram lines maybe and then use buses to get them off. Because they kind of like... They're not sharing the line then. They're not sharing the same, same spaces and then... Okay. Sorry, I just heard something in the background, and I don't know what it was, but it's... But anyway, let's just carry on. Um, when you're creating trams, try keep them away from the um, junctions. Because they, they'll overhang and they'll end up blocking the junction. If you say, like, you, say like you park, you, if you say, like, you park to that one there, the back of it will be hanging over here. So try keep... So if you ever do something like that, try do something like that. That usually works. If there's a small space. So like, so like you're going to put them there. You'll just put this further back like that. But when it's like miles away from me. Just stick it in the middle. It's fine. It'll do, it'll do its job. No, they can. it can actually facilitate people. It will actually take people. So, let's pay for a tram. 1,820 passengers, service qualities. Pardon the French, shite. Bloody hell, the Livingston's worse. These prospect royals. I did get the, pr I did get the, um, the, um, um, the pre-order bonus of some of the vehicles and s things, so... Uh, I had to pay for one. I need to pay for more of that. There we go. And then we can. Oops. Delete. Yes, please. Thank you. You do the same thing. The same thing as you do with bus lines. Join up the dots and stuff like that. And let's connect that up to there. And. This will be the last line I'll be building because I'm I'm, I'm over the 20 minute mark. I'm going to try and make them 20 minutes because people, I know there's there's a few comments like saying oh 30, 30 minutes wasted my life. I'm I'm presuming that it may be that they might not like the content I'm producing, but maybe because I'm too long and waffle. So basically, 
That's why I'm trying to keep them to 20 minutes and try to work all the best. And I, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm an expert at this game, but I really do enjoy this. On my Steam library, this, this is nearly overtaking Seas in Motion 1 now. And other than Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, this, these are my most played games, the Seas in Motion series. So, there we go, there's the tram out. We'll have a look and watch it going on its merry way before we will end this video here. Pick up some pa passengers please, thank you. I like how they've got the cantilevers but the, you don't actually see, they don't actually, there's you know, the pentagraphs on them and they actually don't actually touch any cantilever kind of center thing, whatever you call them, like, them like, um, um, them tram wires that are like hanging in the air like you do, like on many tram systems in Britain. Okay, this is picking up some passengers, which is good. Let's see our thumbs. Okay, we we definitely got an issue here. And that's gonna that's gonna pee off some people, so we'll drag that down. Okay now we're actually making an income because the buses are making some money. <laughs> Which is good. It should be. We're not taking the loans out because I feel like this game, this this campaign, when I I did have I have done this one, but it was when I first got the game, and I like playing just playing um the the the, the sandbox mode. But anyway, I like to you, I like how this one's a bit more freedom. There's no actual um like how could I put this? There's no there's not as many restrictions you can do. Yeah, you've got that one in with this this dude who wants his line there. I'm not going to reject it because it's money. Okay, 57%'s done. We've done six percent. Well, six percent of that is completed, so that's good. I will gain some more detail of this game, like create sh doing the transport zones where like this is going to be like green, red, blue, yellow, rest. Where basically that's like your zones. For example, say like. Like if you look on a London Underground map, there is there is zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, and like some that are actually zone five, which are outside the Greater Man the Greater London area, Manchester, that's in Manchester, Greater London area, should say, on the London Tube map. So I'll get in, I'll gain more into that, and that's where these um, these ticket things come in. Look, there's zone one two zones. So basically if this line inflicts in two lines you pay that two line price. And three line for all of them. All zones is cost that. One zone's that, yep. I'll, I'll show it here. All of it's yellow currently but when you go here you can define zones. Which is how that works. So. Anyway, let's see his money again. Let's, if we still, yes, we're making money on that on the trams as well. So we're actually making money overall. So I'm going to end this video here, and hopefully you've enjoyed the first epi episode of my Let's Play Cities in Motion 2, Part One. Well, Episode One, and it's called Gain Started. I've named it that already. So hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time in whichever video it may be, so my name has been Andy H. Sleeds, and always, see us.